we gather here today, a new President of the United States, a new Prime Minister of Israel, a new opportunity for hope, uh, for a better future for the region, which is important to the world. Uh, there have been uh, previous agreements that talk about a two-state solution, but I emphasize the word solution. It must be a solution that provides uh, for a democratic Jewish state of Israel living side by side with her Palestinian neighbors. Uh, the question of Iran is one that is of concern to us in Congress. Certainly it is to Israel because of its proximity, but we, it is an issue for the world. Uh, it is important for all of us to work together to be sure uh, that Iran does not develop a weapon of mass destruction. Uh, we face uh, opportunities and challenge. The challenge is uh, the arming of Iran, the potential arming of Iran with nuclear weapons capabilities. That is a great danger to all of us, uh, to, the, to Israel specifically, to the modern Arab regimes, to America, especially if this regime were to arm itself, arm terrorists with nuclear weapons, the consequences could be unimaginable. Uh, at the same time, we want to seek the advancement of peace between us and the Palestinians, and as President Obama, I think, wisely said, between us, the Palestinians, and the broader Arab world. It's time that the uh, Arab countries do their part, too, to uh, normalize relations with Israel and to support the peace process. We have to do this in tandem. That's uh, going to be our policy, uh, and I was very encouraged to learn that this is the American policy. We're going to try to do it together because if we do it together, we'll get a lot further, uh, a lot faster.